Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are back. We are trying to do transmission swap. It was a nightmare yesterday. We got started, we got most of it out. We're about to get the uh, last couple bolts I can't reach out of the top of the transmission. Got the new one already for well, the used one, rebuilt one, whatever it is. We've got the replacement, it's gonna go back in it. But uh, it's a greasy mess under there. So we're gonna try some gloves. See if we can stay a little cleaner today. Uh, let's dig in. See if we can get this thing swapped out. So this is where we're at. I'm about ready to drop it down. Drop it, drop it low, girl. And uh, get the top bolts out. Drive shafts out. Exhaust is off. It's just a greasy mess under here. Everything you touch is just uh, covered. Uh, so let's see if we can't get this thing split today. Alright, we got the 
fresh one here so we're gonna stab this back in there I don't know if we did or they did but this little piece was broke right here so I just spent a little while uh, heating it and melting it heat it melt it heat it melt it you know. so that should be okay so now we got to stab it back in there well since we got this out of the way we might as well go ahead and do the rear main seal this thing while we have the transmission out of the way so I just ordered parts for it now I gotta wait on those but yeah might as well do the rear main seal while we're in here so maybe we can stop some of this oil from leaking everywhere but uh, it's got a nice undercoating of oil everywhere so you know that's good that's rust proof so we're gonna wait on that and uh jump back in here and get these things all sealed up i did get uh top seals too so we're gonna try to get this thing sealed back up because it leaks oil everywhere change oil pan gasket change rear main seal whilst we're in here what we got oh. <laughs> wicks of course somebody called Derek from Vice Grip let them know we got a wicks it's pretty pretty clean I think there's another hundred thousand miles on that okay well rear main seal is done all pans in and a little you know it's just missing we just kind of wiped the, the big heavy dirt off and it looks a little better now so about time to get this transmission put up here but we got family here so we're gonna take a little break cut you back on here in a little while good morning we're back we uh got quite a bit done yesterday Everything ripped apart, uh, rear main seal's done, uh, oil pan gasket's done, oil pan's nice and clean. Uh, we had my brother here yesterday, giving us a hand. He's actually the one getting the truck. He was looking to sell his car and buy a truck. And I told him, well, why do that? Especially nowadays with uh, the fake space, you know. With everybody just thinking that you know things are gold so we traded him the car for the truck now at least I know when he gets in the truck everything's pretty well tidied down you know I know for sure this truck runs pretty good had a transmission problem so it's got a new transmission in it while we were in there do the rear main seal uh, oil pan gaskets we are still gonna do the valve cover gaskets, the intake gaskets, things like that. So, y'all stick around, stay tuned. Oh, FYI, the brother that's getting the truck is actually the one who made me my stickers and the sneakers. So y'all go check him out. I believe it's one and only customs on the Instagram. So y'all check him out. 
but today we're going to jump back in hopefully get this transmission bolted back in and then uh take it out there and do a burnout we just seen the cops ride by so that's approved so maybe we can get this thing to do a burnout today and be running runs just needs to move so he said he should be here in the next 10 15 minutes so once he gets here we'll dive back in i got a lot to do uh i'm gonna try to help him with this i'd really like to get my doors painted but we gotta see what the weather's gonna do so right now i'm trying to get everything watered to keep the dust to a minimum so let's uh let's dive back into this greasy mess and see what we can get done cross toes let's go welcome back uh it's another day yesterday the camera decided to just not record well the memory card said it just wanted to delete the chat didn't record nothing had a good time lapse yesterday of us getting stuff together today already this morning we've been to the shop we got the carrier bearing taken care of on the drive shaft we got a new oil filter but we did get quite a bit done yesterday <clears throat> transmissions in everything's in everything's ready to go got to tighten the train mount and put this drive shaft in that's what we we're waiting on yesterday was that that carrier bearing was just shot so i didn't want to put them in something that was gonna be rattling and vibrating so this thing only needed transmission work transmission work to slip second gear so we got a new trans well a different transmission did the rear main seal oil pan gasket we're gonna do all the gaskets like i said before so that way we know at least when he's going down the road should be good to go so just want to catch y'all up we did get everything put back together yesterday so we're gonna put the drive shaft in this thing fill it up with oil and we're gonna give her a uh, cold start with straight headers see what it sounds like and then we'll put the exhaust back on while it's nice and burning hot so.
Well, that didn't work. Went all the way to Stewart yesterday and got the parts to put on transmission, neutral safety switch, figured, you know, fire it right up. That didn't happen. Got home, hooked it up. And now I find myself with the security light on. And I've Google searched, web looked at everything. And I can't figure out how to get it to, uh, to start. So that's the problem I'm running to now. Say there's a 30 minute process, roll the key forward, let it set for 10 minutes. Everybody that I talk to says that light is blinking. My light doesn't blink, just stays on. Uh, roll the key forward 10 minutes, the light should go off. Roll the key back for 20 seconds. Try to start if it doesn't start, leave the key forward 10 minutes. Do that two, three times and the truck should run. But I'm finding out that truck just don't run. And I'm having an issue with the dash lights. I was out here till about midnight last night. I turned the key off and I should lose power to everything, but I don't. I still have dash lights. Dome light is dim. Park drive and the odometer airbag and the battery light go off if I have to turn the key and I turn that off and it just stays illuminated and all these stay on the lights behind the AC stay on so I don't know what's going on with this thing but uh, I gotta figure it out because better get this thing running. So I don't know what we're gonna do. So that's the gist of it. So we'll figure it out, I guess. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this video until I figure out what's wrong with this thing uh, transmissions in that's good but uh, I think we're just gonna call it a day on this one until I figure out what's going on with it and then maybe we'll start another video but as of right now I appreciate you guys watching stick around stay tuned you know all the good stuff and uh, we'll catch you on the next one hopefully we can get this thing back up and running it was running good and now it's not so we'll try to figure it out Remember, the only thing stopping you is you.